Good afternoon. Uh, I guess I'm starting a little late today. I uh, want to do the last part of this book. Muscle testing. Remember I said I was going to talk about muscle testing? Let's see if we can get through it today. I'm going to do my best, okay? The benefits of muscle testing. Muscle testing is a simple technique that allows you to completely direct, com communicate directly with your body. It can tell you exactly what your body needs at any given moment. I have found it to be by far, not me, that's just what the book says, by far the most valuable tool I have ever used. It was through the it was through muscle testing that I was able to, de to determine which oil was associated with each emotion. Muscle testing is really very simple. It's just a way of communicating with your subconscious. This is important because it is, un it is your subconscious that is in charge of running and maintaining the body. To test something, all you need to do is find a strong indicator muscle and check its ability to re remain strong in relationship in, in different stimuli. These will be a different oils. These will be the different oils you will consider using when you use them and how often. I don't know why my eye keeps itching. Interpreting the results. The muscles most, common, most commonly used in this procedure are the, mus the shoulder muscles, the chest and arm muscles, and the back muscles. When tested, it is the muscle stay firm under the pressure that you, is applied. The substance being the substance being assessed has a positive and beneficial effect on the body. If you preserve if the pressure I'm sorry, I'm just I'm trying to read fast so I can get through all this today and I'm messing up. So I might as well just read my normal speed and take a little bit more time. If the pressure causes the muscles to weaken or give then the substance test was negative effect and will use more energy to process to process to be processed or eliminated when it provides when the muscle tests weak it may be demonstrated as various degrees weakness may be dramatic indicating a definite no for that substance or moderately weak or spongy Sponginess suggests that the substance is not particularly beneficial to your system, nor is it de detrimental. Detrimental. The organ, the origin and basis of muscle testing. In 1964, Dr. George Goodhart, a chiropractic physician, discovered that he could drive could derive information from the body process in body through a process of testing muscles. He found a way to bypass the conscious filter of the mind as he could communicate directly with the physical body. This profoundly discovers discovery this profound discovery opened the door of being able to de determine exactly what was going on in the body. In greatly, it greatly enhanced the physical ability to diagnose, enabling physicians to be more specific. For example, if someone knew he had a urinary tract infection, which could be confirmed as urinalysis, the next question would be, what causes it? By using muscle testing and the acupuncture alarm points, physicians could determine whether it is coming from the bladder, the urinary tract, or the kidneys. Muscle testing uh, greatest value is in providing the ability to diagnose physical problems by communicating directly with the body. Through using muscle testing, Dr. Goodhart demonstrated the interrelational interrelationship of muscles to, to internal body functions. Basis of muscle testing. Muscle testing is based on the standard muscle strength 
tests used to determine muscle disability. These tests were developed by Kendall, Kendall and Wadsworth Medical Authorities in Kinesiology, which is the science of human muscular movements, muscles, testing and functions, second Baltimore, 1971. How muscle testing works. Muscle testing works by using biophysical and mechanical links between muscles, joints, nerves, and organs to identify specific requirements and body imbalances. The method involves practicing the reasonable amount of pressure on a muscle or group of muscles and determining the individual's ability to resist the pressure. Muscle testing is an in- interesting concept and in how it works with un- can be understood both physically and mentally. From the physical standpoint, we know that the body possesses an energy, re- energy field that permeates and, and surrounds it. Muscle testing takes advantage and fluctuates in this bioenergy bio field. If the energy flow is disturbed or interrupted, the motor nerve in, impulses are affected, re, resulting in decreased muscle strength. Traditional Chinese me- medicine was mapped, has mapped the f- flow of energy in this field as it moves through the body along pathways called meridian, meridians. It is along with these meridians that the chi, C-H-I, or, li- or life force of the b- b- body flows. The Chinese have de- demonstrated the effect of this flow on health through the science of acupuncture, which is derived system of treatment that can be applied to many ailments. Using Kirlian, K-I-R-L-I-A-N, photography this energy field produces by the life force can be seen radiating outward to form the urine ura a u r a around the body this occurs in all living things humans animals and even the leaves of plants and trees while these energy fields are normal Normally not visible to the naked eye, it can be easily seen in pictures this type of photography uh, pr- pr- produces. Why muscle testing works. The mechanics of muscle testing can be explained in terms of subconscious mental re- response. The subconscious mind that controls the internal bodily functions knows what, what foods and substances the body needs. The body is always in perfect alignment with the subconscious, so it always accurately reflects what it needs. Look at the the effect the emotions have on your body. Since they are subconsciously generated, they are linked to corresponding physiological changes in the body. Anger, for instance. Now, loss of anger, for instance, causes increases in body pressure, heart rate, respiration, and muscle tension. Other emotions, too, have physical manifestations in the body that are directly related to the subconscious response. Muscle testing utilizes this harmony between the subconscious mind and the physical body. It allows us to communicate with the subconscious and access its reaction to stimuli by using the body as both the transmitter and the receiver. When the substance is placed in contact with the body, the subconscious reacts to the beneficial, neutral, or harmful. This pro- this produces the physical response of either increasing or decreasing muscle strength depending on the effect of the body or the subconscious. How to muscle test. Basic techniques. Choose the muscle to be used as the indicator. Any muscle or a muscle group can be used when the person being tested is strong, stronger than the person doing the testing. It's best to choose a muscle that can be oscillated and tested by itself. This provides a more accurate test because it reacts. It reduces the likelihood of 
recruitment from their surrounding muscles. When the person's being tested is noticeably weaker than the person doing the, doing the testing, man testing a woman, using a larger muscle group or groups of muscles helps to imbalance re re relative strength. Since muscle mass is different from men and women and children, instructions on how to test the several muscle strengths has been provided. Select accordingly and follow suggested techniques. Explain, la explain later. Generally works best. The man testing woman using shorter muscles. The woman testing a man using upper chest or back muscles. The man or woman testing a child using a combination of chest and arm muscles. And self-testing is hand and finger muscles. Let's see. I think tomorrow I'll do the imported points and the pressure applied. We're almost done here. I don't want to make this too long. So I think I'm going to call this quits for today. Um... I don't even know if um, anybody's interested in this but because I'm not getting any responses. So, come on, people. Say something. Especially family. I know you're watching the videos. I see the views. But no one's commenting. That's kind of upsetting to me. Say something. Say you hate it. Whatever. Tell me. That's I need that. I need the communication and there's nothing being said. So, open up. Say something. I don't care if it's negative. Give me some reactions of what I'm talking about. Smash the like button. Smash the dislike button. And comment. If you haven't subscribed. What are you waiting for? You're learning from me. If you if you follow me long enough and listen and communicate, we can, we can help each other. So, I see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.